Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we're talking about your Squarespace website and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you add an image gallery or a photo gallery into your Squarespace website? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to add an image gallery into your website anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you run an online business, maybe selling products through your Squarespace website, you know, it's important to have various images so that way your customers get a good idea of the product or service. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your Squarespace dashboard. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my Squarespace website and this is the editor. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and choose the page that you're going to add the image gallery or photo gallery. So here on the left, click on pages. Okay. Next you get to choose which page you're going to add this to. So for example, I'll go ahead and choose this one right here. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we want to jump into the editor. So click on edit right here. Okay. Now in order to add a, an image gallery or a photo gallery, you may have done what I did. So I thought that you're going to have to add a block and then click on images. And I was looking for something called gallery. It's not there. You can't do that. So what you're going to have to do is you have to add what's called a section. So a section is going to be this large piece right here that's surrounded in blue and inside each section, you can add blocks. So blocks are going to be like text or video or whatever. So if you want to add a gallery, you can't actually do that from the block. You have to add another section. So what's going to happen is it's going to add another block. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click on this blue add section button. Okay. Once you do that, you're going to get this menu here on the left and you just want to scroll down until you get to this section here called images. Go ahead and click on there. Okay. So once you click there, you're going to see all of the different types of galleries that you can add into your Squarespace website. So for me, when I think of a gallery, I think of something like this. So what's going to happen is you're going to add a number of photos and underneath your user can go ahead and click on the photo. But of course that really depends on what you like. You can also add a gallery like this, where it's just going to show various photos that you add into the gallery, but it's not going to scroll. And then also they have these other styles up here. This one is looks like three by three. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and use this gallery since I think this is more of a typical photo gallery. Okay. Once you click on it, it's going to add the section, like I said, right into your website. So this was the homepage right here. And now it's moved that section down. And now our image gallery is here to the top. Okay. So now we can go ahead and edit our image gallery. So all you got to do is just hover over the section or the gallery. And then here on the top, right, you're going to see this button edit gallery. Okay guys. So here is where you can go ahead and just start moving things around. So the first thing I want to let you know is when you add a gallery into Squarespace, it's going to have these three default pictures. So you can actually just move these around so you can adjust them once you've added in all your pictures. So like maybe you want this one to be third. So you just drag it on over and it's going to rearrange the gallery and the layout. Now in order to change it, obviously to maybe your product, a couple of things you can do. You can go ahead and just click on the image. And once you click on it, the editor pops up over here. So if you like the image that they have, you can go ahead and keep it and then add a description, but more than likely you're going to want to go ahead and delete it right here. And then once you do that, you got to click on confirm and same thing for these two. So we'll just delete all those. And now we want to go ahead and add in our own photos by clicking on this plus icon. And here you can go ahead and search the stock images from Squarespace. If you want to use that, or you want to go ahead and upload your own images, which is what I would recommend. Okay. So I just went ahead and uploaded four images. Now they're uploading. Okay. Now here they are. So now we can go ahead and go ahead and adjust these. Like I said, maybe I want this one to be first. Okay. That looks good. And then also you want to go ahead and be sure to add a description into the image. And this is going to help with your SEO. So stock market tools. And then if you need it to redirect to another link, maybe internally or to another website, you can do that. And then you want to go ahead and click close. Okay. So here we have our picture gallery inside Squarespace. And as you can see, the users can either click on these buttons here to the right to scroll through the images, or they can just click on the image below and kind of scroll through them this way. So this does not take effect until you click on save here on the top left. Okay. Now it's been published. So that way, anyone who shows up on this particular page and wants to see my image gallery or my photo gallery, they're going to see this right here. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to add a photo gallery or an image gallery into your Squarespace website, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.